so I'm walking along here and I found this uh, this nice cedar tree here. It's got a lot of bark flaking off. And it made me think, in one of my stranded episodes, there was a lot of interest expressed in the comments about how I was uh, twisting and braiding cordage. And um, I actually thought that this would be a great example to go more, a little bit more in depth and show you how it is that I braid cordage. Now I'm going to show you on a small scale. I'm not going to make 100 feet of rope here. But in this case, we've had, uh, looks like, all kinds of small animals scratching their claws on this tree and it's roughed up the bark. So we got ourselves this nice little strip here. And um, let me show you how I prepare this to make rope out of it. So we got our piece of uh, bark here. And I'm going to manually focus there. And what we're going to do is we're going to start at one end and I'm going to roll it between our hands and work it all the way down. And what that does is you see how it makes it really soft and pliable, whereas up here it's really rigid. That's the goal. And the purpose of that is just so that that way when you're twisting it, those rough edges don't cut into the fibers because the rope will, the cordage will actually end up cutting itself if you don't soften it up properly. Especially with fibers bark like this. So we got our piece here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it not quite in half. Actually, what well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of off of it. So that way, we've got an even strand of fiber here. Now, first, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay it over my finger, and I'm going to adjust it so that, that way, one end is slightly shorter than another end. Now that what that is, is so that way you can splice and maximize the strength of the cord. So, the first thing that we're going to do here, at this point, we're going to twist and keep twisting and keep twisting. And you're going to twist away from you until it rolls over itself like that. Now you're going to take that little knot and you're going to pinch it. And at this point, you're going to be twisting away from you on every single one. So. Take your thumb and your pointer finger, twist it away from you, and then you grab it, the bottom piece, with your ring finger and your middle finger. And then you pull that up. And then you twist it again and pull the other piece up. Now, let me show you from a different angle. Twist it, and you grab it. And you're just going to keep doing that and work your way up the piece. And you're going to do that until you get to where your end is shorter. Alright, so now we've reached our short end here. What we're going to do is we're just going to take another piece of similar diameter and we're going to splice it in. And now we're just going to continue twisting and working it in as if it was the original strand. And once the piece is as long as you need it, you can either cut the strands or uh, continue rolling until you run out of strands. I'm just going to go ahead and break them. Now, what you have here is a piece of twisted twine. To finish it off, all you're going to do is make a simple overhand knot. And tighten it down. And now we have ourselves a piece of twine here. Now this one isn't exactly my best one that I've ever done. This cedar bark is actually a little bit more rotten, on, a little bit more on the rotten side than I thought it was going to be but it made great for a demonstrational piece. Now, depending on the fiber that you make this rope out of, it can be incredibly strong or can be incredibly weak. Regardless, it does make for a really good lashing. You know, you're tying your shelter together or whatever. The, uh, in my region, the strongest material that I have personally found to make cordage out of is uh, dogbane. Dogbane and milkweed. They're incredibly good for it. And um, this spring, this summer, when they start coming back up, 
I'll do a video and show you what those plants look like, how to identify them, and uh, how to make cordage out of those plants specifically. Other plants that you can use are um, yucca. Yucca is an awesome one. Um, obviously, cedar. Um, if you think about it in just a simplistic term, anything that has a very fibrous material or bark to it, and you know it's flexible and you can, it's get really got good strength to it. You can make cordage out of it. Now, the thing to remember is that cordage is good for certain purposes and not for others. Like you don't want to spend 10 hours, 14, 15 hours making yourself 25 feet of you know nice cordage just to lash your shelter together with. Not, you know, why would you do that when you can just lash it together with a grapevine or some uh, spruce roots or something along those lines? So you really got to think about where your need for cordage plays in and what material is going to be best for it. For lashing shelters together, my favorite thing to use is spruce roots. Uh, cedar roots work good, pine roots work good, and obviously spruce. Wild grapevines. Wild grapevines are fantastic for it and... Um, <clears throat> You know, if you pull the grapevine down, the uh, upper end is very strong. They're very woody, but it's very, very good lashing, and it will last quite a while. But anyway, not the Babylon. I'll do a little bit more in-depth video on each individual plant later on as they start to grow, and uh, I can go a little bit more in-depth with them. But with that in mind, uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. If you haven't already or you're new to the channel, hit the bell dingling icon down below. Um, I'm really aiming for 2020 to be a good year. I've got a lot of things planned that I really want to do. Uh, I haven't had luck getting them out or getting them made. Um, there's a lot of things I'm trying to do. It's just a matter of orchestrating it with other people and making it happen. But in any case, thank you guys for watching. It's been a good 2019. Uh, hopefully 2020 will be even better. Don't forget to follow my other channel. I know I haven't uploaded anything to that channel in a little while. Um, I have one, I just need to upload it, but with that said, thank you guys for watching, see you in the next one.